Hey everyone, Dan with Featherbird Designs. Uh, I wanted to do a quick update from the single cup rotisserie turner that I built. Um, well, I don't know, a few weeks back, almost a month now, I guess. And um, see how everybody was doing. Um, I've had a lot of uh, good feedback from it and a lot of people thanking me, which is really, really cool. And as you all know, I tried to make the, the, the video as detailed as possible so people could build them on their own. Um, there are still a lot of people out there who just don't want to don't want to mess with it. They um, they just want to get to the you know the, the artistic part of it and, and doing tumblers. So a lot of people have come to me um, asking for turners. Um, those of you who have, you know that I have relented. Um, I never intended to make the turners for sale, especially the multi cup turner, um, just the parts. But um, I have relented on the single cup turner. And I just wanted to go over a couple things with you. Um, for those of you who end up being interested, uh, email Dan, me, at featherbeardesigns um, at gmail.com. What I'm doing is, you'll notice in the other video, um, I use a lot larger wood. Um, I scaled down to make it a little bit more compact. This is actually um, a, what they call a, a two by eight instead of that real big, big piece, which is plenty. It's nice and heavy. Um, but not too heavy and um, it doesn't take up as much space. So that's the way I'm doing them now. And for those of you out there who are making them, yeah, you can totally scale down to like a two by eight. As you can see, it covers the whole um, tumbler, you know, where it's going to drip and everything like that too. So um, that said, I wanted to go over one more thing and I hope that you will all be excited about this. Um, a lot of you bought a ton and ton of parts for me, including the the PVC arms, the PVC football arms, and they're buying or, or they're getting, you know, making single cup turners or buying single cup turners and they're going, okay, I have all these arms. Um, Dan, can you figure out how to put these on the single cup turner? Um, is rather, rather than using the bar with the football. So guess what? I came up with something. Drum roll. Okay. Um, you probably noticed in the little intro video that I did um, something a little different about the, the, the turners. And um, basically what happened, I've been racking my brain and thinking about it and um, couldn't really come up with a really good idea. And the other day my two-year-old was um, running around the living room and... Um, uh, had something in his mouth. I said, spit it out, spit it out. This is what he spit out. This is a little foam um, Nerf bullet thingy that goes with my other son's Nerf gun. Um, here's some pictures. So um, you can buy these at, you know, Walmart, Target, or, or whatever, but... Um, he was running around I said spit it out and he spit it out and I picked it up and I went hmm took it out put it into a piece of um, three-quarter inch PVC went in really nicely really snug but not too snug and I went yes I got it so um, that's what I did and you guys can try it if you don't like it um, I just did it and it's working great um, let's take a look I'll show you Okay, so this is a little piece that I created. Um, I cut a piece of the, the shaft off the rotisserie. And then what I did was, um, this part's going to go into the motor. And I wanted um, a foam ball kind of on the end for, for support on the PVC. And then kind of in the middle um, for support on the PVC. Uh, these, unlike the footballs, were not too difficult to drill into. So I actually started off by drilling... A hole I held the football or football I held the little nerf ball and I drilled it drilled a hole in it and then um, did this on the second one and then I marked on the bar where I wanted them to go then I used my my glue um, and I glued on the bar and then I slid this football right here or football gosh, I say footballs, this nerf ball all the way down to where I wanted it to go I kind of moved it back and forth so get the glue would adhere really good to it and then on the second one as well.
These are on here really, really good. They're they're nice and foamy, um, but they're they're kind of um, uh, sturdy as well. Like they're not too too gushy. So um, let me show you how it works. Okay. Make sure I can, you guys can see what I've done here. Okay. So this is how um, I made this and how I've been um, even shipping it as people have been wanting them. So a lot of you have the, the PVC arm and let me show you how that works. This goes in place. Okay. Lock her down. And make sure it's turning. Okay. So your cup is on your arm as you're working with it and you're done. Now watch how well this works. Isn't that slick? And it's super, super sturdy. It's even, perfectly even, and spinning. I don't know. I'm pretty proud. I hope you guys like it. A cool rotisserie hack. See, it fits on there pretty good. I mean, haven't really used it in a long time, so I don't know how well those are hold up over time, but it's been working good so far. So there you have it. Um, I hope you guys like it. There's my, um, I guess my little gift um, to you guys who have bought so many parts and so many PVC arms from me and um, are, are looking at making a single rotisserie to complement what you already have. Or you're just starting out but you like the idea of the PVC arms because they're removable, easily removable. Um, anyway. Thanks again for all your support. Um, you guys have had so many awesome things to say and kind words for both Heather and I. And, um, you know, we, we really still have done our best to make sure our YouTube videos um, are, are free, even though we you know, had contemplating that over time, trying to change that to um, help bring in, you know, some, something to help us keep the videos going. But in the meantime, as long as you, you just keep please sharing and, and um, subscribing and Heck, even watch an ad, an ad every now and then to help us out. Um, it benefits us and, and to help keep the, the, the videos going and, and help the, the Tumblr as well as the craft uh, crafting community. So anyway, uh, thanks again. God bless everybody. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions at all, email uh, dan at featherbeardesigns at gmail.com. Bye.